Hi there, my name is Dion and this is my voice zero days on T. Um, obviously I am a uh, trans man and I'm actually starting my journey with testosterone tomorrow, January 21st, 2020. I'm really excited about it. Um, so I'm making this video as a way to sort of start documenting this for myself and for others. Um, I'm also making this because I decided to make a tarot spread in celebration of slash anticipation of starting testosterone tomorrow. Um, the spread is in essence about, you know, like helping figure out like what exactly to expect in this new step of my journey. Um, I also wanted to make this video to sort of like, because I, I, I wanted to offer this spread to other spiritual trans people or trans people who might want to seek out a reading, I guess, about this kind of thing. Um, and so I want to sort of iterate that it's not like I personally am obviously using it for the fact that I'm starting HRT, but I really feel like this spread could be used for any step in your transition process. So like if you're, you know, trying out a new name, trying out new pronouns, coming out to a new person, coming out at work, uh, dressing in more gender affirming clothing, or even just, you know, questioning your gender in the first place. Um, I feel like this spread can be used for any of that. I've made it like versatile enough that it doesn't have to be just HRT, you know? Um, and I'll explain it in just a second in the next little section there. Um, but on that note, I do want to say that technically speaking, this spread can be used for any life change that you're kind of making, but I made it in the spirit of trans people and trans people exclusively and non-binary people. Um, so it's not really for like cisgendered people um i mean obviously i can't stop you but that's kind of what i'm it's just it's made in the spirit for trans and non-binary people who are taking steps in their transition process um and also i wanted to make this video because for me personally um the fact that i am trans and my transition process is innately tied to my spirituality uh which is why i want to you know like incorporate tarot and meditation and things into my transition process um I just really feel like it's a big part of me that's kind of like you it's it's inseparable from who I am as a person and as a soul and as a as a soul that's on a journey here on earth um and personally I center trans people in my spirituality I really feel like um we really need to I really want to learn I guess about like how being trans affects spirituality and um, essentially like how to use spirituality to help soothe the often tumultuous earthly journey that trans people currently go on. Um, but yeah, like I said, I'm gonna, you know, go into the spread and I'm really excited about it. Um, I'll show you in the next section, I'm gonna show you what the spread actually is. And then after that, I'll actually like do the spread for myself and kind of explain my process with it. All right, here we go. Like I said, this spread can really be used for um, any step in your transition process. Um, I personally am calling it the dragonfly spread, but um, I've also decided that it could be called the butterfly spread, whichever one is more gender affirming to you. Um, there's are like, you know, both creatures that are, you know, making big changes in their life. Um, so basically here are these are the, the card positions. Um, card position one is egg. So this is like where you started off from. This is This is essentially the past position. Um, and I feel like it's important to really honor where we've come from in our journey because a lot of times we can kind of get lost in like, you know, like the present and not really feeling like we've done enough or gone far enough or whatever. But it's like truly like where we've come from to where we are now is vastly different. And I really feel like um, this help, having this egg position really helps to put things in perspective for ourselves. So obviously the next position is now, which is the present. Um, it's essentially where you're at now. And more or less, it's sort of the starting point for the rest of the spread. This is the foundation. This is where you're coming from. And these are all the things that are going to change outside of that. Um, card position three is the challenge. So with any step, there's going to be some kind of like concern or challenge or difficulty or just something that kind of, is that my hair? Please go away. Wow. That wouldn't go away. Um, any, in any like, yeah, in any transition step, there's really something that's going to be it's not always easy. It's never, it's basically never easy. So in the challenge spot here, even if you get like a positive card, like even if you got something like the sun, I would still say that it has like a negative connotation. Like this is essentially the negative and the bad and the, like the weird, challenging, uncomfortable spot in the whole spread. 
Um, so even if you get something like the sun, which would usually be like joy and, you know, like connecting through inner child and stuff like that, um, I would put it like in this spot, it's still like a negative connotation. So like maybe you have tr like trouble accessing that joy and happiness, or maybe you have trouble connecting with your inner child because like a lot of, especially for trans people, we can have trouble connecting with our inner child. I feel like because, you know, for me, that inner child was a little girl and I don't see myself as, you know, a girl. So it's really difficult for me to look back on myself and love that little girl um, and all the things that she didn't know about herself at that point in time. So like that's, this is, that's what this is. This spot is the challenge zone. All right, this is, that's what that is. Number four position is er, uh, water, sorry. <clears throat> and so water is about emotion. So this is what's changing for us emotionally. Um, it's usually going to be like an inner thing, but it also could be our connections with other people, of course, because water also has a lot to do with how we emotionally connect between other human beings. Um, five is fire. So that's going to be, um, how we're changing spiritually, um, our drive, our energy levels. Um, it's going to, it's, um, also about like inspiration and things like that. So essentially like your personal drive, your personal projects, things that you want to do, but like a lot of it really like is mostly like spiritually, like where is that changing? Uh, number six position is probably one of the more important ones for some, like a step that I'm taking, which is, you know, HRT. And this is earth. So earth is your physicality. What is physically changing for you? So in this position, even if you're not starting HRT, let's say you're coming out or changing your name, um, obviously your body may not change all too much, but um, it has to do with family. So your family situation, your friend situation, um, it could be your work situation or your living situation or even your financial situation. So it's earthly things that are around you. And yeah, I know like it can sort of get mixed up with um with water in a way because water also can deal with like interpersonal relationships but um this is more so your physical environment um card position seven is air so that's going to be uh your mentality where are you changing mentally um and this can also like often be like a tough position for you know people change like transforming and changing themselves so um yeah, so I guess that's an, it's still an important part. It, every every single part of this is really important. Because um, even if the step isn't HRT, um, your life could change pretty drastically throughout each step in your transition process. Um, and so obviously, card position eight is the outcome. This is where all of this stuff essentially leads you. Um, obviously, for a lot of us, our transition journey never technically ends ends. But it's more like, you know, before you start your next step or when you get to a point when things stabilize, this is what's happening here. This is like the immediate outcome. This is like what's going on, what's happening here. When you do this thing, when you change, when you start HRT, when you change your name, when you come out at work, whatever, this is what it all culminates to in the end. Um, and obviously this could be positive, negative, neutral, um, but it gives you an idea of what to sort of expect. Um, so like I said, I'm, I like, I'm totally cool with like doing this spread for other trans people. Cause like I said, I really center us in my spirituality. Cause I really feel like it's important. Um, I really feel like it's important for us to feel connected and spirituality doesn't have to mean like, you know, like, oh, I don't believe in God or whatever. Like, like you can do both. You can read tarot and believe in God. That's like not an issue, like literally at all. Like your spiritual journey is completely up to you. Um, so yeah, like that's. That's what this is and that's why I wanted to share it because it's like super important to me. All right, so I've got my spread laid out here and before before um, we go and like continue any further, I do want to mention that this is the Antique Anatomy Tarot. So in case you're like, you know, looking at the cards and you're like, wow, these are really cool. This is the deck that I'm using. Um, I'm using it specifically because um, it has a lot to, like Antique Anatomy. So it literally has to do with like the body. And I feel like, um, it's, I don't know, it just speaks to me on like this weird like inner level that I really like. So if that's what I'm using for this. The only issue of course is like you can see here, it's not like perfectly, um, you can tell which one's reverse and which one's upright. So it does kind of stink in that situation. So if you're thinking about this deck, definitely consider that. Um, it's not, it's not like a perfect like thing, but I'm still using reverses with it anyway, whatever. Um, so first position is the egg. And what I've got here is 
uh, four of blades, which is uh, swords. So essentially where I'm coming from is a person who was not like allowing myself to rest. Um, I was trying really, really hard and probably in essence hurting myself like by not like giving myself a break, not, um, not cutting myself any slack, not literally taking time to slow down and just take a nap, take a vacation, whatever. So that's probably something I'm going to have to work on. I feel like that's going to come up somewhere else in the spread. Um, so right now what I've got is, um, wow, queen of elixirs. So, um, elixirs is of course cups. So where I'm at right now is actually a really like nice place inwardly emotionally, which doesn't actually make a lot of sense to me because I feel like I'm in such turmoil right now. So maybe that's more of a mental turmoil, but like emotionally I'm not as bad, who knows. Um, but this is my starting point is this place of like, um, essentially being like, like when I think of Queens, I really think of um, like, inner um like focus and intelligence i guess like being able to identify my own inner emotions and then also um branching out slightly to people that i care about so like queens are like essentially sort of the mother figure of the of the of the tarot so it's sort of like um you know like people that we care about like our friends and our family and stuff like that so being like emotionally intelligent in that way um number three is the challenge so I've got, um, I got seven of coins, coins of course being pentacles. So seven of coins reversed is sort of a weird one. And I actually got that earlier when I was just like shuffling my deck. Um, like it just like flew out. So seven of coins here is sort of like a, um, I think the challenge is going to be sticking through with it. Um, I think that's, a, that's, that's actually exactly what it is. It really is like, it's, I'm going to have these fears and anxieties and feel like nothing is changing, but I just have to stick through with it. So judging from that, I feel like my transition might take longer than I'm expecting it to. Like maybe it just takes longer for uh, my period to stop or for my jo voice to drop or um, for me to notice any of those real physical changes. Either that or the changes are like so drastic or like m like not what I expect them to be and so it makes it harder for me to want to stick through with it but I have to like I have to eat I have to shit or get off the pot essentially is what this is it's I have to go for it or not at all like all in or not at all um so number four is um Jesus fucking Christ um <clears throat> number four is my emotional uh, set there so I got the tower reversed. <laughs> so that's the oh shit card. Um, and reverse essentially means, oh shit, something's gonna happen. And for some reason I'm doing something that's stopping it from happening, but it's gonna happen eventually. So I may as well just suck it up and deal with it. So emotionally I'm looking at a spot where like things are on the verge of collapse. And for some reason, or whatever I'm doing right now, or like, or what I'm going to be doing shortly, I guess, is trying to essentially damage control it before it actually happens, but I just have to let it happen. I just have to let that emotional collapse happen. I have to let that emotional breakdown happen. That's essentially what I'm looking at here, is, a, is, a, is an emotional breakdown on the verge of happening, but I'm trying to keep my shit together, but it's not gonna work out. Like, eventually this collapse is gonna happen, but when the collapse happens, the beautiful thing about the tower is when the collapse happens, when the dust clears, I have a new place to start from and new hope can be grown up from that. Whatever, like, the way that my emotional state is now cannot stand. Like, it's built on faulty ground, it's built on sand, it's, you know, the bricks are crumbling already, so I may as well just let it happen. That's essentially what I'm looking at. I'm not pleased about it, but that's what I'm looking at. Number five is, ooh, that's interesting. Number five is my, is fire, so like things that are going to be happening spiritually. I really feel like for me personally, this is a spiritual section, not like energy or um, inspiration or things like that. This is spirituality for me, uh, especially since I got the moon here. So I really feel like I'm going to be going into a very confusing time spiritually. Um, especially if like, especially if I'm having like these challenges here where I don't know if I want to stick through with this or not. Um, so what I'm looking at is like possibly questioning myself, possibly coming into new psychic gifts if I'm being real, um, but essentially I'm going to be making this journey through the darkness. The moon is, you know, nighttime. It's this one orb floating up above everything else. 
and it's this one pinprick of light in this journey through like mystery and confusion and so I'm I'm really looking at like it's going to be a really important time for me spiritually. I really have a feeling it's going to be a very important time for me. Um it's not going to be easy, but but that's what I'm looking at there. Um All right, so number 6 is actually what I'm really excited for, which is earth, um my physical changes. So what I've got here, oh my god. Oh, you Baby, you precious, I love you. Okay, so that's the 10 of coins. That right there is a really positive sign. This is everything that I wanted coming together. This is everything I wanted just be coming to fruition. You can, and you can physically see on here all these different body parts. So for me, physically, this is the body. This is my body changing. This is my hips being reduced to a size that I like are is more comfortable for me. This is my mind. This is my jawline becoming more like, you know, more aligned. This is my facial structure changing. This is, you know, my muscular structure changing so that people see me the way that I want to be seen. This is so beautiful. This is honestly, I'm trying hard not to cry right now. This is so beautiful. Shit. This is a, this is a part of the spine. I might even grow taller. Who the fuck knows? This is amazing. All right. <laughs> Whew. Okay, so number seven is uh, air, so mental changes. This is six of blades. Um, so what I've got here is moving on from something or needing to move on from something, but kind of, um, honestly, I feel like this kind of goes hand in hand with the tower. I feel like um, emotionally and mentally, I need to let something go and move on from something and it's just not happening. So I don't know whether this is like like dysphoria and those feelings of still looking to and or still looking and feeling too feminine or sounding too feminine or if this is being unable to let go of who I was before this or like the way that I perhaps wanted my transition to actually look um but in any case I've got I've got some backed up issues um I mean this could be like mental health like honestly like this could be like like there's something major going on in my psyche that is going to be changing. And truly, honestly, it probably could be like it like all tied in with the moon here. This is gonna be a very confusing time for me. So I'm gonna have some kind of emotional collapse. Um, I'm gonna be holding on to something mentally that I really should be letting go of. And um, it's just gonna be this weird, confusing, strange journey through the darkness essentially the darkness of my mind like this is the skull this is the back of the skull things that are in the back of my mind things in like below my subconscious things behind everything else things that probably I haven't been looking at may even come up because you can see the back of the skull here is illuminated essentially so it's like things that are in the back of my conscience are going to come forward or be illuminated and it's going to cause an emotional collapse and I'm going to be clinging on to something that essentially is no good for me anymore and I have to get rid of it. So that's a lot of... This is so positive. Everything else is just like, yeah, you're going to be going through a meltdown, baby. Good luck with that. <laughs> so that's great. Um, but I am coming from this good spot here with the, with the Queen of Cups. So I feel like I'm going to... I mean, I'm probably going to make it through this, but let's go for the outcome and see how that turns out here. Here we go, baby. Oh. Oh. So I've got Knight of Elixirs, which essentially means I come out of this with a boo. Um, <laughs> no, it's, <laughs> I mean, if it's talking about somebody else, which in the outcome position, it could be. Like for now, I wanna call, I wanna say that like the now position, if you get a, like, if you get a um, court card here like I did, now has to be yourself. Like it just has to be because this is where you're stemming from to the rest of the spread. However, for the outcome, I feel like that can be either way because, um, like, okay, so Knight of Elix is essentially the romantic. This is a new love coming into my life. Um, this also could be me coming into my own romantic side and sexuality and stuff like that. Because a big part of my concern with, um, with dating right now is that my physical body is not where I want it to be. I don't want to show myself to other people because I don't like the way that I look and I don't want them to see me this way. And so if I'm getting all these physical changes that I want, which it seems like I will, then I can open myself up to being romantic and to allowing love into my life and to being um, 
this person that like is you know emotionally like a go-getter like like emotionally ready to try to be with other people essentially and try to open up my life to other people so it's here i've got like a, i got a big mix of like goods and bads i've got i got some bads of course but i've got some goods well these mostly not this one this is kind of funky but um that's essentially what I'm looking at here is, you know, like starting off from this emotionally secure place, I guess. Um, not being sure whether or not I really want to commit to this, but I mean, judging from... It's, it's actually, I'm really glad I did this spread because seeing this really makes me... It's going to be uh, something that's going to help me stick with this even when things get difficult. Um, so yeah, not being sure if I want to commit to this or not. Um, emotional collapse, mental anguish and needing to move on from something um this weird spiritual journey slash possibly like awakening um but definitely dealing with things that are in the subconscious of my mind here um i really feel like these three are connected that's so wild um then yeah then getting all these physical changes that i really wanted and ending up um in a place that's much better and healthier for me in a love and romantic sense so that is that and um Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. And um, like I said, for other trans people, like I'm very willing to like, like I, I kind of want to practice with this spread more. Like I'm totally down for like showing this off to, or not showing this off, but you know what I mean? Like, like, like doing this spread for other trans people, because like I said, I really center us in my spirituality and I really want to um, be able to enrich other trans people's lives through spirituality in some way, shape or form. And if this is some, some small way that I can do that, that would be amazing. Uh, so yeah, thanks for watching. And um, I guess I'll probably see you shortly uh, with my starting tea video. I'll probably, probably do something for that. If not at the doctor's office, maybe like afterwards, like after I have um, gotten my first injection, essentially. So see ya.